Hey, Wasabi, Operation Hydroid here, and this is my PSX for All request series where I show you how to get specific games on PSX for All. These games are taken by request, so if you would like to request a video, leave it in the comment section below. And today's episode is How to Get Gran Turismo on PSX for All. Okay, so to get this to work, we're going to need three things. The first one being PSX for all, the actual PlayStation 1 emulator, and the application that we're going to use to play the game. If you do not have that, there will be an annotation on the left or a link in the description. We'll also need iFile, file browsing system, which we'll use to put the game in the right place. If you do not have that, there will be an annotation on the right and a link in the description. And lastly, we'll need Safari Download Enabler, and to get that, you'll have to go into Cydia, then into the Search tab and search Safari Download Enabler. It's the first tweak. It's completely free, so go ahead and install that. Now, to actually get the game, we're going to have to go into Safari, the iPhone's native browser. And when Safari loads, we're going to type in the URL, coolrom.com, so C double O. L R O M dot com, coolrom dot com, and this will automatically direct us to their mobile website. And from here, there's many different methods of searching for ROMs. There's ROM files, and then from there, you click the system, and then from that system, you look for the ROM from there. But in this video, we're going to be searching for the ROM from the actual ROM search, which we see up here. So, since we're trying to get Gran Turismo, we're going to write Gran. Turismo, just like that, and click the little magnifying glass search button at the right. Now this was this will load and then give us all the results for Gran Turismo. So there's nine results, and it's because there's Gran Turismo demo, different versions of Gran Turismo, and Gran Turismo 2. But we're going to get Gran Turismo version 1.1. So go ahead and click on that. And then when Gran Turismo version 1.1 loads, it will be in a nice page with two screenshots, the file name, file size, system, downloads, its rating, and the download link. So the download link will be at the bottom. As you can see here, it says download now. You're going to go ahead and click that. And then you know your download will start is because when you scroll up and the URL will show the amount of megabytes being downloaded compared to the amount of megabytes to be downloaded. So, I will be back when that is done. Okay, so when the file is done downloading, you'll have a screen like this. From here, we're going to click on the Open In option. And then the Finder option. You only have this if you downloaded Safari Download Enabler. Now, when you open it, you should be in VAR Mobile. If not, then just scroll all the way back until you cannot and you'll be in VAR Mobile. It also says it right here. Anyways, from here we're going to click on the media folder. Scroll down, ROMs, and the PSX folder. And at the top right, we're going to save our Gran Turismo file here. Now we can go home and open iFile. And when we open iFile, what we're going to do is go to VAR Mobile. You should already be here, but if not, click on the house at the bottom. Then click on the media folder, scroll down, ROMs, PSX, and then look for the Gran Turismo.7z file. It should be here. And as you can see, the .7z file is here. Now, what we're going to do is click on the file and then click on archiver and now what this does is that it's going to extract the files that are in this .7z file into the psx folder so there's actually three files in this .7z file and we want to take those out so this takes two to five minutes and i will be back when it is done all right so when the unarchive is done you should see at the bottom, finished with result code 0, 
at a little bit above that, everything is okay. And you will also be able to click done now. So go ahead and click done at the top right. And now when we return to iFile, we will see that Gran Turismo dot bin will now be here. So that is the file that we will use to play the game. But to make some space, we're going to delete the dot 7z file by sliding to the right on it and clicking delete. Now this will not permanently delete the file. We'll have to click on edit the trash can and empty trash. And at the top right, done. Now we can go home and into the PSX for all application, but make sure to check that it is not open into the multitasking bar. So double tap the home button. And if you see PSX for all here, hold it down and click on the red minus. Now we can open the PSX for all application. And when the PSX for all application opens, we're going to see that our Gran Turismo game is now in PSX for all. So as you can see, Gran Turismo version 1.1 bin is in PSX for all. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Click portrait and no sound. You guys can click whichever option you choose. But I'm clicking portrait and no sound for demonstration purposes. So as you can see, the Sony boot logo has now come up. And next is the PSX boot logo. And after these two boot logos, the game will run. So as you can see here, the game is running just fine. So Gran Turismo is actually a pretty good game. It's the top selling PlayStation game that ever came out, sold the most copies. So that's something pretty um, memorable about this game. That's a very great accolade. So as you can see, the game is running again. Let me press X or start so I can get to the start menu. And here we go. So now I can start to play the game if I choose to. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next week. So here I have two videos that I think you might enjoy. In the black iPhone, I have how to get Final Fantasy IX on PSX Pro. And in the white iPhone, I have how to get invisible controls on PSX Pro. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, like to see more and stay updated on my channel, click on that green subscribe button.